What is going on lads and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 20 video on my channel. Uh, today's video we're going to have a look into how to make profit. Uh, it's currently December from the bronze pack method. The format of this video I basically show you the process of the bronze pack method. I show you a certain special card that you can get this week in the bronze packs and I also at the end uh, at the end of me showing you I do summarize exactly how the profit will be made and the benefits of doing this. Thank you so much for the support on the Trading Team of the Year series, I really do appreciate it. But today's video is going to be something uh, away from that series. So I haven't made a video on the Bronze Pack Method in quite a while, but I have had a history of making uh, Bronze Pack Method related videos. So today what I'm going to do is have a look what it's like in today's market. Obviously there's the, um, there is the Team of the Group Stage promo going on at the moment, so the market's a bit messed up. But that does not mean that Bronze Pack Methods aren't profitable. So what we're going to do... Is we're going to open bronze packs i'm going to show you what to look out for what sells and why it might sell so essentially like any other time you're going to open a bronze pack for 400 coins and you're going to be hit with a screen very similar to this uh, but obviously the contents of the cards will change so then all you're going to do is um compare the prices and find out what they are selling for now usually all rares sell for 200 coins it's always worth it to check the price in case they sell for more but cards like this sometimes they do sell because they might be useful in sbcs um, and I do personally have a 10 minute rule that I have mentioned before but before I go into that uh, one thing to look out for is Chinese Super League cards, Bundesliga, Serie A if you have a look at the league SBCs um, you want to be looking for cards from them leagues uh, that correspond with them certain SBCs so the 10 minute rule essentially is when you hit compare price on a card if there is uh, more than one up for 200 with less than 10 minutes to go then it's not worth listing in my opinion for this card there is already two here for 200 under the 10 minute mark so i'm just going to store that club within uh store that card within my club um, personally i'm going to get rid of these contracts keep the fitness uh, obviously take the coin boost and then store them in my club for bronze upgrade packs so again you're going to open a 400 coin pack uh, you can actually get a hero card in packs this week. Uh, sorry for the lighting. It's, I know it's not great. It's uh, obviously dark. I could turn the light on, but <laughs> it's effort. But as you can see here, we get another rare, which doesn't happen all the time. Now, the 10-minute rule can apply on this, but because he's a rare card, the chance of him selling and the chance of him, of him being packed the same amount as a non-rare bronze, I'm going to list him for 200. So that really, the 10-minute rule for me only applies to non-rare bronzes. Um, so for this card there's quite a few up I'm just going to keep him and for this one there's quite well actually there's only one not two sorry so I'm going to keep him under the 10 minute mark I'll get rid of all of these and then get rid of these now a thing to look out for of course is the kit and the badges uh, squad fitnesses all attribute cards any attribute like a passing a pace a dribbling a shooting they will sell for 200 coins and of course it may not sound like a lot but that is half the pack paid for if you do get one of them um, I got a pace one there, so that's 200 coins back from this pack at least. Uh, this card, 500 so far is the cheapest, 400, a couple for 200, so we will list it for 200. Uh, we got Paul, a uh, typical German name, what's his first name? Herbert, I mean, Herbert Paul is just a typical German name. Uh, 200 coins because there's only one under the 10 minute mark. And then we got Mines, who is from a League SBC, however, it doesn't look like his price is massively inflated. Now, Although I haven't packed anyone amazing so far, in the three packs that I've opened, I've made profit. And a lot of small profits, just think about this. What what would happen if you did pack a Bundesliga card worth 4k? You probably like tripled your coins. So, you know, it's always worth doing. Uh, it's worth checking, like I said, badges and kits. Uh, 10 minute rule can apply for badges as well, really. I'm going to list that for 200. You've got to be a little bit patient. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's definitely worth doing in my opinion. So I did mention earlier that you can pack a team of the week at the moment in um, a bronze pack, which is completely true because if we have a look on the bench, if there's ever a silver card or sometimes a gold if it's the second in form, if there's ever a silver card or a 74 or below in team of the week, then usually their normal card has been a bronze. So if we have a look at this guy, of course, if you packed him now, you'd be able to get 20k for him, which is pretty sick. And you can actually get him in the bronze pack. So this guy, Brustad, that's his name, Brustad. Let's quickly go and search him on the market. So now we've searched him. Let's see what his normal card looks like. <clears throat> so his normal card is actually a 64 rated rare, which means you can pack him in a bronze pack. So the way it works is if you were to open a bronze pack, you can, if as long as his normal card is a bronze, you can pack whatever version of him gets released. I think last year, uh, there was like a few golds that you could pack. There was team of the seasons that you could pack. You could pack... Um, 
when Team of the Season was out, I'll put a picture on the screen now of uh, not one that I, I did actually pack him. I don't know if I've got any proof. If I do, I will show you. Um, but the right back from Norwich, Aaron's, you could pack him an 84 rated Team of the Season last year. You could pack Reese James. Um, so basically, any special card that gets released, uh, you can pack whatever their base card is. So a bronze in a bronze pack, a silver in a silver pack, no matter what card they've got. So, what we're going to do is open a few more packs and try and get a few more examples. Now, just answering some questions because I've had a few basically saying why are none of my bronze uh, bronze cards selling. Uh, and to to be honest, a lot of the time when I come back to these questions, I say how long have you listed them for? They'll say, oh well, I've been listing them for like two hours. Sometimes it takes longer than two hours. Sometimes it doesn't. That's just the that's just the way it is. With all injuries, sometimes you can get two hundred for it, so it's worth putting them up. Um, because people might be lazy and go, yeah, I'll just take that one. Shoot in, like I said, pull up for 200. Well, essentially, if your cards aren't selling, then it's obviously because there's a lot on the market at the time. So another thing that I always reply with is it depends what time you're trying to sell the cards. Now, if you are going to sleep overnight and you know you're not going to be on FIFA or awake to relist your cards through the night, then put your cards up for six hours and the chances of them selling are going to be higher because they'll be on the market for a longer time. We get another rare here. From Barnsley, this time his cheapest is 400, so we're going to stick ours up for 350. Um, and the reason these cards actually sell is because every now and then an SBC will get released, but doesn't necessarily need a, a specific card. But because of a certain solution on Footbin, their price will be inflated, or because someone might just need their card to complete the SBC, then again, their price may be inflated. So it's always worth checking the prices. Also, when you get duplicates, it, even if there's a lot under the 10 minute mark, it's still worth listening for 200. And if they don't sell, you can just have a when you've used that there. Uh, when you've used their card that is in your club in an SBC, you can put him into your club, or you can just discard him if he doesn't sell. Uh, but we'll open one more pack, and then that will be the end of the video. I know it's been quite a, uh, it's been the content of this video has been something that you've seen on this channel quite a lot um, in the past. But I just wanted to reiterate how effective this can be still. Um, it is one of the most profitable methods where you don't actually have to do a lot of work. You literally sit in open packs for a little while um, and then hope to get some sort of return from it. That's uh, very profitable. I know personally I had an account, uh, and if you watch that series I appreciate it, I had an account where I made 400,000 coins using the bronze pack method. Uh, this kit I'm going to list for 200, a bright yellow kit. It, it will sell. That kit is awful. I feel sorry for any Newport County fan. To be honest though, I reckon that'll sell. And because there's not many on the market, you've got to just gauge how many are on the market and what are the chances of your card selling really. If you have made it this far, I know it's only been a short video, but if you can comment bronze pack, uh, bronze pack method is overpowered, I would really, really appreciate that you've uh, made it this far into the comment. And if you can drop a like as well, see if we can get this to maybe 25 likes. There will be an episode of Trading Team of the Year out very shortly. So to summarise exactly how... Uh, beneficial the bronze pack method is of course cards will be selling for instant profit from the bronze pack method itself so as you can see a few of the cards selling here it's only been about five minutes so you can't really complain a squad fitness there selling for 900 but there's also the um the uh, bronze upgrades that you need to do so i have actually pre-made one already but using the bronzes that you deem unsellable from the bronze packs you then submit them into this sbc uh, don't use any of the leagues from the league SBC, so I haven't used any of the Turkish league here. I've used the Austrian, the Ukrainian, the uh, UAE and the Irish league. So essentially you're giving up 11 of the bronzes that aren't going to sell and you are submitted them for two silver untradeable cards. Now, the key word there being untradeable, you cannot sell these cards straight away. Um, you can basically build up a massive club of untradeable silvers, untradeable golds, because you can turn these silvers into golds using the silver upgrade. And essentially what you can do is complete any future SPCs that come out that might require silver cards, that might require a low rating where you can get the uh, requirements done. And of course you can do league SPCs using the cards. Now unfortunately I didn't get any here, but of course I've only opened one. Um, if I open like 50 maybe, I might do that as an experiment video. You might get like 10 league SBC cards or 20 league SBC cards that are going to be very useful and save you a lot of coins. Of course, when you complete an SBC, you usually get a tradable pack as a reward, and that is where you'll make most of your money because you might get lucky in one of them packs uh, from using untradables to get that pack to then getting tradables from the pack. So 
it's just a constant grind and it's something that I wouldn't do as a primary source of income. Now I'm stressing that because I've got a lot of people um, on my old series still commenting now, which I love that people are still watching it, but people are saying to me, I've put all my coins into this. Now I've never once said to do that. It's not a primary source of income. It's something you do on the side. It's something you grind away at. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. Uh, if you have enjoyed this, I really do appreciate it if you could smash that like. And like I said, comment bronze pack method is overpowered. Uh, there will be trading team of the year video out very soon, whether it's tomorrow or the day after, I'm not too sure. I am going for more of a quality over quantity when it comes to my channel at the moment. So hence why it's not daily uploads. I hope you appreciate that and I hope you appreciate this video and I appreciate you being here. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, smash a like, like I said, hit that subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.